Hi everyone, Nate solves problems here back for another video. In this video I will be solving this differential equation and that is the second derivative of some function y of x with respect to x equals negative some constant squared times that original function y. Solving this differential equation is important because it comes up in a variety of different physical systems. When you're trying to solve for the motion of a simple pendulum with small oscillations, you're trying to solve this equation. When you're trying to solve for the oscillations of some object on a spring and without the influence of any drag force or damping force, you have to solve this equation. Or when you're trying to solve the Schrodinger equation the time independent Schrodinger equation in one, two, or three dimensions in Cartesian, using Cartesian coordinates. So, we're trying to solve, we're trying to look for some function y of x that satisfies this differential equation, where k is some constant. So how do we go about doing that? First, we're going to define another variable. We're going to define v equals dy dx. And this allows us to rewrite the left-hand side of this equation using the chain rule, where we have the second derivative of y with respect to x equals v times the derivative of v with respect to y equals negative k squared y. If you're wondering how this came across, I'll address this in another video relating to just the chain rule. But moving on, we're trying to solve for this. And this is a separable, separable differential equation that we can solve. We can multiply both sides by dy and integrate. In doing so, we have, and we'll use c squared as our constant. With that, we have v squared equals k squared times the quantity negative y squared plus c squared. So let's, let's replace v with dy dx. And in doing so this, we can take the square root of both sides, and then we're left with dy dx equals k times the square root of c squared minus y squared. The reason we use c squared as the constant, because any constant squared is still a constant. So this allows us to see this part of the, when we're trying to solve this next separable differential equation. It allows us to use it pretty easy form to figure out what the answer to that solution is. So we have this and we can separate it again and we can solve it. In doing so, on the left hand side we have dy divided by the square root of c squared minus y squared equals k dx. And the left hand side happens to be the inverse sine of y divided by c. And integrating the right hand side we have kx. So then we can solve for y, so we have y equals c times sine of kx, which is a solution to our differential equation. If we ended up using a negative constant, we'll get cosine of kx, c times cosine of kx is our solution. And that is all I have for this, and I will continue with different videos relating to quantum mechanics and different math or physics videos. Please comment if you have any questions or you want me to create any videos on other topics. Thank you. Have a great day.